And they are also the winners of the TES Arena of Valor League. So these are some heavy hitting, this is a heavy hitting team. Definitely. Yes. But on the other side of the spectrum, we have SPTX. They have secured their spot at top 33 at the Valor Cup C3 um, in the run from, I think, I believe from June 1 mm -hmm. uh, for AOV India. So it's going to be pretty interesting. We did see a couple of ser uh, series, whereas the top 20 plus team has defeated the top 15 team. It does happen. Upsets are real in esports. But you know what? Let's take a look at our roster for today's series. And for SPTX, we'll be having Insurgent on the offlaner role. For the mage role, will be Blue Storm, Wiz Insane on the Marksman, Fear on the Jungler, and a recent drop with the Observer. Yes, sir. And for XD Gaming, we've got Cerberus as their offlaner, Dexter on the mage position, Kaz as their Marksman, Pain on the jungler uh, position, and Blastoise as their observer. Wow. Gotta catch them all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. And now, as we finish telling you the names of these players, let us start looking at how they draft as we start our draft for game number one. So let's get into the draw. The thing about the drafting for AOV India is that they have different priorities. Obviously, sometimes their power players, key players rather, are probably on the jungle, probably on their top lane, or based on their strategy, maybe it's something more macro heavy. And the bands are different as well. Superman, Super Common, XD Gaming, on the other hand, bands the Razzle, so that's gonna be a respect band on whoever their mid laner is. Alinda's first pick, you don't see that too common or too much every day. And XD Gaming here, going for those prime picks, the Murad and the Joker. And that is a really nice poke combination there. Uh, definitely something you can start off easy and then follow up with some tanks along the way. SPTX kind of going for that already with they have the Zephyrus for the dive and Crush as their utility um, fighter. You can actually also go for maybe a carry build, but we have seen Others just go and give them for that support role. Anyways, they don't go for the Zephyrus, they go for the Zephyrus. Interesting though, they were probably thinking about it. Maybe they might want to give up the Zephyrus. Zephyrus will not be picked anymore as they have the Murad already. Max, this is going to be our first time seeing a Max if they lock this in. But L'Oreal matchup, uh, a L'Oreal pick as well. We've seen how powerful it is, especially during the later phases of the game. But it's all about it's all about coming online. It pairs well with the Murad um, on their jungle position. So I'm assuming there's a lot of mobility, a, a couple of um, easy easy bursts from the Murad, and then you can finish, finish it off with a L'Oreal. But at the same time, looks like they get their Zephyrus, which would mean maybe Lindis could a side laner or perhaps maybe a jungle it could be a different uh dynamic this time around because sometimes we see zephyrus on the side lane but mostly you find him in the jungle so maganga once again and we're we'll seeing here for um uh, <laughs> so sptx or xd gaming i think it's uh sptx they're gonna the one who went for the uh, l'oreal pick we're going to be seeing them kind of go for a triple carry type of deal here. They have hope with the Morad. They even have the Joker for the Silent and then a L'Oreal as the Mage. I mean, it seems like they're going for much of a squishy pick here. They were hovering over the Alice, but they immediately went for the because I think they wanted to at least have that extra amount of tanky or at least a tank with them with the uh, Max as well. Yes, I really love the max pick uh, on the side of SPTX. It's something that we haven't seen before in this tournament. We're still looking for Wonder Woman, though. But again, it's basically depending on where their strengths at, where they're comfy at. Um, but this time around, it's going to be max. I'm super interested to see one of the heavy hitting bruisers um, at the current meta of Arena of Valor. But at the same time, they have a lot of damage, heavy damage dealers on their side as well. So a lot of balance of late game and consistent damage, but going over to how this is going to work, it's all about execution. Murad, we saw how it didn't work out so well in the previous series because you were not allowed to make those 
easy picks either under turret or during the laning phase during when they're when the minions collide uh when they reset rather so it's all about how they're gonna make this work if it does not then Mirren will have a hard time finding these stacks and actually maximizing the kit of the temporal turbulence I'm, What's I'm, up, I'm, man? I'm, I'm still like <laughs> putting all like just mulling over what happened in that drafting. It felt like it was, I mean, Lindis has a first pick there. That actually was um, what Xpdex I think built. But yeah. But yeah. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna find out who's gonna be the top team here for our fourth series. Let's hand it over to our casters, Asurai and Lizuka. Take it away, fam. Hey, 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 that was that was a weird intro because of how Asura just looked away as if he wasn't part of it at all. <laughs> but anyways, yes, in the first game oh, of this final series of the day, we will be seeing SPTX going up against XD Gaming. And I, I, I mentioned earlier on uh, at stream, uh, on stream, that uh, I spoke to the players. And the players that I spoke to, uh, they were from XD Gaming. And one thing that they told me was that uh, I asked them, so what should we be looking out for from the setup XD Gaming? And Blastoise, as we all know, the observer of XD, told me in two very simple words, pure domination. So let's see if that will come wow. through for the side of XD Gaming going up against SPTX. Because, you know, Riku has said, you know, esports upsets are everywhere. And let's see if SPTX can actually bring something uh, to the table. That's actually kind of cool. Um, just like a just something out of the game here. Um, they said pure domination, right? I actually just saw like the intro video for John Cena when he was debuting, you know, like uh -huh. way, way, way back. And he said to his opponent there, you know what? You know, there's two perfect words to define me. Ruthless aggression. Oh. <laughs> and then for XC, for XC Gaming, it's pure domination. And yes, true, we are not quite seeing the Wonder Woman, but at least we are seeing mm -hmm. Max, the Wonder kind, right? A wonder here and there, it's interchangeable. Meh, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. So for now, we are reaching that two minute mark, about to hit that those level fours for some of these players here. But it seems like XD Gaming are gonna be pushing it immediately to the bat here as they spot out the Zephyrus, very low in HP, tries to dive in away, gets the shield, but the temporal turbulence coming in here from Dexter as he snipes him with the help from the L'Oreal, netting that first blood and just in time for that big juicy objective. Yeah, big juicy, and we do see Shiny. Shiny is the new uh, guy in XD Gaming, rotating down all the way from the top side to help secure this Abyssal Dragon. And now they may just be looking for the gang onto Blue Storm. However, they will just clear up the lane and back off. So, you know, look at the team coming up. Oh, oh, jumping in and just goes with the snipe blaster. It's gonna be a total bro there as he absorbs the damage. Fresh Insurgent, on the other hand, here, gonna be at the wayside. Not really gonna find an opponent there as they immediately back off. But as you can see, XD Gaming starting this off pretty dang strong with their rotations. And this is how they've been, have always been. Uh, you, you mentioned about a Test Arena of Valor League uh, that happened earlier on. Yes. Um, that is held by Tesseract as well. And we saw XD Gaming just coming out so very strong. Oh, again, coming out on Cuss. Kaz, well, if there ain't no stun, then, you know, just don't jump the gun. And he's going to be able to escape, porting back or recalling back to the base. And no kills will be had there. And yes, as you were saying about the, uh, the uh, TES Arena Valor. Yeah, so we saw XD Gaming just very dominating uh, in that particular tournament itself. Mm. Um, almost, almost for every single match they've been on, it's... It's just clean. And here we see our favorite masochist going in for a kill. Ooh, look at that. So is just dropping down. No questions asked. As long as his teammate needed, he will slam the ground for you. And he just gives us that exit path for pain to get away. And the masochist you know, gets the kill there. Now there's going to be a little bit of a tussle here. 3v2 situation propping that ultimate from the Zenyal. As Kaz goes in, they can actually go for a tower dive here. But they decide 
for the better. Don't want to go aggressive as they might actually mistaken, you know, you know, mistake the damage output of this Joker. And Dexter actually joins in onto the fight. A level five L'Oreal here might not be the best as her opponents are level seven and possibly above. But this dragon has come back into the fray. Pain is here with that Murad and he stacks up, goes with the temporal service and look at this. The wipe of the cleanup, the polis. The police strategy, we we going in as the final blow comes in for the fight here. Be Bayo goes just you know trying to get that steal on the abyssal dragon, but it's not gonna be enough, yo. And he comes down with the 4-0 against XD Gaming, and they even get that second abyssal dragon. And Juno with Maganga on your team, usually you want to go in for those team fights, but here we see. You know, having a Murad on XD Gaming, they really want to steer clear of that, right? They just want to pick off, they just want to pick someone out, and then have the numbers advantage, and then go in again. But here we see 2v1. 2v1 immediately goes into a 3 2, but they immediately go and mamba out the Kobe Bryant tactics here as they steal that Sage Gold. And you can really see how, how much control XD Gaming has. A quick replay of that previous fight. I mean, the Murad went in a little bit ballsy, but calculated ballsiness is what this game is all about. Getting those stacks up, gets the Temporal Turbids, the second one as well, just to make sure that nobody is able to escape. And the L'Oreal dips into the fight as a, uh, as a contingency plan if that does not work. Yep, with Maganga on your team, you're really relying on that heal, on that burst of damage with the ultimate, you know, after you stack it up to five uh, poison count. However, Blue Storm just wasn't there at all, was busy clearing lane. And, you know, mm. with the team comp so concentrated on team fights, ah. Uh. Uh, indeed, lots of fights happening. The crest though in the mid, very low. They like. And he's not gonna be able to do just that. That Kaz and his friend will be trying to go for the chase down, and of course, no survivors. Oh! I've been waiting for that. Oh I've been waiting God. for the Wonder Kai to just come oh. in uh, with that lift off and pick someone up. I mean, we, we saw that a lot. We, we've seen that a lot in trailers, and this is the first time I'm actually seeing it uh, in the game itself. So, very good play from XD Game. Oh, this is super early. Six, maybe a seven minute Dark Slayer here. And just a quick question, Lucera. Did it made the tear drop from your eye when you saw that lift off, you know, connect and get a kill? Yeah. Tear? Oh, it was more than a tear. <laughs> <laughs> but I shall I shall stop myself there. But here we see XC Gaming going back to their roots. Uh, I say roots with you know, quote on quotes, because you know, for the abyssal, uh, abyssal dragon, that is normal, right? Going in for the moment it spawns, yes. but the duck slayer, they do that as well. But here we see a team fight may just be happening. Team fight may be happening because they got the duck slayer, yo, and it's not gonna. Uh, they won't like not use that, and they immediately just go in aggressive. And what was that? Kaz right over the wall. You know what he says to Maganga? I am the real Joker in this game. Blah, 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 blah. Batman is my nemesis. And he just goes in and kills the imposter, gets the kill. And into the bottom lane we go. Tier 3 is exposed here. And they're going to be starting it up. Double man knock up with the Lombards. Oh, smashing it down. And well, they are pinching it, or rather chipping it down ever so slowly. But they immediately say to themselves, it's not worth the effort. Let's go to tier two, and they cannot defend that. Ooh, Murad goes in with an ultimate, trying to find someone. Uh, crashed very, very low, but will be backing off. And here we see, once again. Ooh! <laughs> Sad day. Good night and goodbye. And here we see, uh, you know, the high ground towers exposed and XD, they are just pushing through. They are pushing in. They, they are really calculated when it comes to plays like this and Fear trying to stop. Yeah, Fear trying to stop him or he's gonna try to do his best, but at the end of the day, that is a L'Oreal who has gone into over 9,000 with the power level and just goes zip and zap with the dashes. And look at this, two low targets. And this might be looking to be a GG already. Nope, they're not gonna go push just yet as they are respecting here. SPTX, there is a 14,000 gold lead. But of course, ever so surely, they're gonna be uh, approaching this cautiously whatsoever. But now, as that core and other members of SPTX are exposed and down for the count, we will be seeing a 
not even a nine minute win, an eight point fifty nine second or minute win. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I mean, there was nothing to say about that game at all. XD just played true, right? Or rather Blastoise, true to their commitment to pure domination. Went in from minute one, second one. And just here, yeah, take a look at this short replay. They started struggling with this, you know, bot side high ground tower, but it's not for long. When you see Murad just coming in with the temporal turbulence at the top side and constantly just bring them down and this team fight itself fear went down without a fight whatsoever i did say fear tried to stop but ah that was yeah. not not working yeah. out at all you know pain he should actually suggest to tencent like to make a skin for murad that whenever you use your temple of turbulence you just drop the mic because every time he does that it feels like a mic drop moment already you know drop the mics yeah i mean, do you know why i call my favorite masochist um, is because of the Chinese word in front, and it's love. All right, so thank you, Luxury. We'll continue that conversation after we are, you know, when we go to our game number two. But <laughs> hallelujah, Bristol. That was amazing from X. <laughs> I mean, we expected a very dominant performance from XD Gaming based from their history, their their tournament runs from the previous months that they have did. And right now, having to score that top one seed from the Valor Cup C3, it seems that they're so confident with whatever uh, is being thrown at them. And one thing to note is that they're so sure, you know what, let's go take the Dark Slayer. It's totally fine. They're just, they're, they're very fast in terms of decision making and as well and knowing like for example certain small small counters if you will for example Maganga is so good when in terms of 5v5 fights <laughs> late game uh, mid to late game I can help do the sustain uh, for my team and the shock debuff on on max actually lowers the uh, the heal regeneration for three seconds mm -hmm. so that's sort of the, the really small details that make things work in a micro level Macro-wise, they've obviously done their job correctly as well for XD Gaming as they have continued on with their pressure. They never gave SPTX room to breathe at all. And, you know, that's the reason why XD Gaming is so impressive and they really, really showed, you know, high-tier AOV esports action from India. Yeah, and, well, this is why they're the, they're the ones to kind of, you know, represent India in our in this upcoming Asian Games. But... Don't put out of the equation SBTX just yet. I mean, they kind of had something there in game number one, but I think it was still a little bit lackluster. Although, this is a best of three single elimination. They have one more chance match point already here. Can they bring it back on game number two as they go against, you know, our uh, arguably top one team in the India scene? That's going to be a tall task, but I feel like if they can find a composition that doesn't, I mean, maybe it strays away from that first one, something a bit more offensive, but at the same time um, has a good amount of hope, maybe. I mean, they did have the list, but I feel like it was a little bit, you know, not enough. Yeah, I think it was, it was really hard because one of the good things, one of the Instant, uh, one of the things that instantly, instantly come to mind if I want to counter an aggressive team is a really good composition that is good for punish. And I want to punish, I want more CC, I want good burst damage because once they try to commit, most of the time, just try to CC and do a counter play. So it's one of those things that perhaps Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, maybe you did the cough for me. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, I was really coughing. Yeah, I know. But yeah, it was just right timing. So I guess... Superman, obviously, we will, we will not see Superman in the field anymore. Um, I do wonder, maybe, uh, we didn't see an Alice, right? There was no Alice whatsoever. For last game? Yes, previous game. Yeah, there wasn't. There wasn't an Alice. Most of the time, it's really good for heavy diver compositions because you place an, uh, the hissy fit in, and then it's just, they're trapped. They can't, like, for example, Mirad, he won't be able to retract from his previous position mm -hmm. once he goes in so a lot of choices for the side of 
SPTX as well. But then again, if that's the composition, that's your strength that you want to play, it's all about having to get that early advantage so that you have space to actually work it out. At, but now, because XD Gaming is a very experienced squad, it's one of those things that perhaps um, it, you have to out-rotate them or try to punish them when they try to make a rotation or maybe take <coughs> something else away from the map while they're doing something else at this portion. So there's, uh, it's more of the decision-making process as well when you're in the game. So we'll just have to see. It's still a best of three series. Uh, SBTX was, I believe, what spot were they on? Uh, they are at the 33rd spot at the Valor C3. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, aside from that, talking, you were talking more about the uh, the in-game like aspects of how SBTX can go up against XD Gaming. But another thing that they might be able to do, all right, while we go into the draft for game number two, is that I feel like during this draft right here, they didn't really put much emphasis on the um, on the hot picks for their first rotation. They went for Alentis, which Red might not be the best. I mean, maybe second rotation, third rotation, she would be because you need something to answer for like, you know, she has good, she has good utility, but as for a first pick, not really what you want, right? That is true, unless that <laughs> is really their strength. If they do lock this in, Kricknack is a very good level four spike jungler here, which, oh my god, XD is doing, I believe they play this uh, either the show matches or the TS, TS Arena Valor tournament back then. But now we see that they still want to be stubborn. They're going to be picking up a Murad, but Joker being hovered. I wonder if that's going to be their final decision. Because if they actually decide this, Rickneck is a great, I feel like a good answer to the Joker and to a certain extent the Murad there because if you can understand where the Murad actually came from while he uses the Emperor Turbans, you can just basically dive in where he came from and burst him down. This is going to be pretty dang interesting on that perspective. And XD Gaming even puts more fuel into that damage output fire, having the tell honest for a good amount of poke at the range and in your face hook ability here with the L'Oreal. But this is opening up SPTX to get the prime creme de la crop that picks here with the crush and the Zenyo. Definitely. Again, as you can see, Tell Honest, really good range of side laner. But now they're just hovering, just eeny meeny miny mowing that last pick here for XD Gaming. Max did work wonders for them. And meanwhile, they're choosing between <coughs> Alice for their uh, Observer and Teamy, but let's with the Alice pick. Meanwhile, lots of painful picks on the side of SPTX Ooh. as well. Maganda already being used still. I'm really excited what the plan is. Crash is actually a very um, effective pick. As you can see, he's settled with Disrupt. So I'm assuming dives just to try to eliminate, get a pick towards objectives, which is a possibility. And it works sort of like an Alice with the friendship once he, once he hops in and just provides shield with everybody else. But that's when I believe what Meta Hmm. This, I it's mean, <laughs> it, it just it just felt like I thought it felt like at first that um, XD here were kind of baiting out some picks here for SPTX, but did they intentionally just gave all of these for me again? Um, just for me, I mean, could have a different opinion with this prime picks for SPTX because it looked like they had everything that XD Gaming had on the previous game, minus I guess the Crash and the uh, Maganga. Yes. But still, having a Zenyal, a Joker, and a Fred, those three uh, classical heroes definitely bring a lot to the table. You get just nice burst damage with the Joker. You get um, really good poke and mobility with the Murad from out of nowhere. And a Zenyal for, you know, that, that global response. Exactly. But we did mention the counters during post-game analysis at game number one. Murad comes in, I'll put the hissy fit. Mm -hmm. Alice is on the opposite yeah. side. Um, heals the heal regeneration. Um, I'm not sure how it works specifically, but for three seconds, the shock really reduces the, the, the heal regeneration. So perhaps the interaction also works with Manganga's um, utility mm -hmm. when it comes to sustain with 
his teammates, but I'm really, really, it, it, really curious how this is going to pan out because you mentioned, I mean, Joker is still a very strong pick. Maganga in the right hand is very terrifying, especially when it reaches the late game. It's so painful, especially when you try to make these sieges, try to just um, pressure them under turret. It's so difficult. But you know what? We'll have to see the results for that. If it's going to be a 2-0 and or are we heading to a game number three? Let's pass it on to our casters, Asurai and Luxury. Well, any mini mini mo, who's the best team of them all? Would it be XD or would it be XP SPTX? And this is the second round of this best of three, and possibly the last round as well. So, whose money are you on? Which team? Mm. Yeah, basically that. Yeah. I, I honestly, whenever I see a crick knack, I always favor the particular team because if you see a good crick knack player, you're basically uh, gonna get exploded upon. And, uh, well, I mean, XD Gaming seems like they're the team to kind of like bring that to the table. Although it's pretty ballsy to see it on as a first pick rotation basis. So, well, for me, XD, but I'm not giving a huge advantage to them. SPTX has some really good picks. Well, yep, I, I must agree with you. I mean, SPTX may just bring soccer into <laughs> the esports as well with those upsets <laughs> that's happening. But, you know, oh it's, it's, still, it's still a little too early to, to actually, like, say anything. I mean, we are still seeing Blue Storm on this Muganga. Not a lot of impact, you know, in, in that previous yeah. game itself, you know. Not, you know, involved in, in team fights at all. Really concentrated in that mid lane of his, trying to hold out that lane. And with just XD, I mean, just look at the constant rotation coming out from XD. Yeah, and they made entirely sure that once they hit that two minute mark, or at least when the Xenio is about to hit level, they already have a four body rotation, like you said, going or immediately down for that Abyssal Dragon. And this just shows how XD Gaming, you know, kind of gravitate towards the big objectives. And SPTX, on the other hand, they're kind of, um, I guess, trying to counter that. Oh, sorry, it was a Xenial was on the SPTX side, so that's my bad. But at least they're kind of going before he hits level four, so that, you know, there's no response for SPTX. Yep, I mean, no response whatsoever. We, we saw the Abyssal Dragon before he could crawl out from his pit, and bam, taken already. And although Fear and Insurgent was there, they just did nothing at all. I mean, they did go and, and take a look-see, look-see, but that is about what they do. But in this, we are seeing, once again, XD Gaming with that rotation into the mid lane and slowly but surely going into that top as well. But like you mentioned, they gravitate towards the main, the big <coughs> objectives, and that really, that is really how they snowball throughout all the games, if, if you know, if, if you actually realize. And that's how cleanly they play. Because we know that in the test arena of Valor League, we didn't see a lot of kills coming out from the set of XD. Instead, we saw them just going for objectives after another one. The recent drop. Ooh, can you feel it? Because they are just making feel all of that damage. Four man collapse. I mean, at one point they're basically you know strolling around the field of Arena of Valor, feeling the grass, feeling the the jungle camp, and then bam, XD Gaming comes in with the four man. Oh. Blue Storm putting in work with that poison bomb, that ultimate bam, and basically Quicknet goes down. So Severus goes down that cast in response to this tower uh, being taken by Fear and Insurgent, but may just have to back off, or maybe not. And so we saw we saw how XD actually rotated upwards, and now once again, oh my goodness, the lift off, the blast off, but the Zen there. Pushback coming in from the crash, but here is the flank from our L'Oreal, although this is a bit more messy on the side, considering this is XD Gaming, but SPTX are nothing to be laughed about. They are approaching this with pure and utter good timings, but at the same time, Abyssal Dragon comes into the fray, and both of these teams are lacking in really strong... Oh, just but look at that's what I'm talking about! The mispositioning, the crick now goes in for the crack, and he just breaks back. My goodness, that Joker does not know what hit him, but these are very low HP members of XD, and if it's Surgeon can actually find a little bit of an opening here with Blue Storm on the Baganda, oh, oh. the damage couldn't be better! But the steal on the Abyssal Dragon is gonna be real, and 
Well, XD Gaming not getting the best out of that one. Well, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe this link should be changed to Arena of Valor World Cup 2018. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, I, I'm, just, I have, I'm just putting it out there, right? Wow, if you wow. people, if you're listening, maybe <laughs> give that a thought. <laughs> um, I haven't really watched, but yeah, I, I know the reference. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Don't OMG. have to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're into upsets. Uh, but anyways. Wow. Okay, but anyways, oh we are seeing XC Gaming actually, you know, pretty shaky in this particular game. Let, let's all admit it, right? They're not looking as strong as they were in the previous game, and and it could possibly be uh, just because of the picks, right? They, they gave away yeah. a lot of top picks uh, to SPTX, and it's just down. I, I guess maybe they find that they have better micros, you know, or macro plays compared to SPTX, and thus willing to give away those picks. But, you know, Riku did mention or uh, bring up a very good point in, in that, you know, Blastoise is on this Alice, right? He's renowned for his Alice, and it's a very, very good counter <laughs> as well. Mm. True, having that, you know, um, zone potential is definitely going to help you out, but Murad was not able to zone away from as the Talanas has done much rage and into the middle of the fight. They go, Fear gets the kill right here, right now. Zenyal uses the ultimate there just for the help out, but here comes Max coming in from downtown with the lift up, smacks into the face of Fear and takes him down. No ultimate for the crush right here as Dexter claims that kill. And we are seeing a exorbitant amount of pressure come out from XD here. As you call them shaky, but now they are shaking up their opponents. Oh, for here. And are they going to go for it? No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. If they actually do go for the Dark Slayer, it would be questionable. But here, we look at this replay once again. Dexter goes in quite deep. And then Cerberus just goes in. Four blue storm of the Maganga just causing so much issue fear waiting for the heal. Heal comes down, but we do see the wonder kind comes in. Ah, and that is pretty much the end of the team fight because it is just so much CC, so much control coming out from the side of XD Gaming. And here we see Blue Storm. Oof, oof, oof! As Blue Storm tries to run away, but man, this storm has already passed and he is being too much focused upon by XD. I mean, Maganga is good at, you know, stacking up all these well, stacks, but at the end of the day, if he can't really pin down his opponents because every day, all day, you know, just going in in front of him, he, they can't, he can't really deal the damage and nobody is there to peel for him. So it's not really a, you know, a fun time. Yeah, yeah, but it's not a fun time at all. And here we see Cerberus actually going in to steal the Sage Buff Stage Golem away from the side of SPTX. So, actually, they were shaky, but they are definitely coming back, right? I mean, they are definitely starting to work as a team. We are seeing that they have the gold lead now, close to 5k, 6k actually. Cerberus finding a recent drop. Ooh. Are nope. they going to go for it? Nope. <sighs> Cerberus, though, is looking... Pretty dang good on that one. Shiny on the other hand is going to be getting to the bottom side to work on that tier one. And this is actually kind of cool because um, Zenyal can go with his ultimate, right? Global presence. Yeah. Mac, Max on the same on the same spectrum can actually do the same thing with liftoff. Even though it's not as fast as Zenyal's ultimate, it still will allow him to join the fight anywhere as long as he can spot out his opponent, which is pretty cool. Yep, and the thing about about Max is that you know when he lands, he has the basic attack to actually trigger uh, the static, the passive, just so to reduce the healing for three seconds. And because he cannot reach there as fast, and he do not have the added healing and damage reduction, it may be difficult. But at the end of the day, shiny axe on Max just plays to its pros, uh, to its strengths rather than the weaknesses, right? So he comes in, pick off, do the stun, land the CCs land the healing reduction and bam he's good the team is gold and here we see dark slayer gets the table mistakes were made they were using shiny basically a punching bag here making sure that if they see two or three people in the bottom side or in that uh, abyssal dragon lane they can go for a free dark slayer and 
I don't know, this is some mistakes had by SPTX, but a little bit of mistakes on the side of XD as they oh. lose the Alice. But was that really a mistake as the Murad was the one recipient of that counter kill? Now, Shiny spots out fear here, but will he go for that lift off follow up onto his opponent right there? But it seems like that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Abyssal Dragon is up and running here for the taking as Shiny is setting up for some really devastating possible pushes in the bottom side. And oop. A fight? Might ensue here. Yep, and many fights. Actually, Blue Storm gets taken down really low. Clash, Crash goes in with the ultimate, but nothing much will be happening at this point in time. It's just a lot of trade going back and forth. Slippers joining into the fight. Oh, he wants it. You know he wants it. The pesky little oh, oh, oh. Hey! No, no care at all. I'm lost. That Max goes into the Max. Gets the kill, double kill onto Blue Storm as well as Insurgent, and this opens up the possibility of that mid tier three. And this is this gonna be it? Is this gonna be how our game number two for the final match of the day ends or of the night ends? A 13 4 for XD Gaming and SPTX on the brink of destruction, but they can they actually come back into this Cerberus looking to be a very juicy target there, but he is not without his thorns. Can maybe actually get him from that one, but. And look, sir, this is looking pretty grim for our uh, SPTX boys here. Yeah, I mean, they had it, right? We saw a team fight and they looked so close to actually being of, you know, of a certain fight uh, for the side of XD Gaming. But XD Gaming, the moment they got the things together, the moment they just played as a team and just gel and basically it'll work well together like the well-oiled machine that they are and bam it, it just suddenly SPTX just seems so grim as in you know, you know the whole future for this game but I do not count it out just yet we saw you know, a very close one uh, early on today as well and that was between potatoes no that was between infamous and let's see if I can actually remember it. Nope, I can't. It's between that infamous game, right? Infamous lack one player, and it, they brought it so very close. So with uh, five Vanquish. players on the side of SPTX, maybe they could find something. I mean, they they brought a team fight to XD Gaming once, and if they can actually execute it another time, they stand a chance. Yeah, 11k gold lead though this time. So that's a huge, huge gap of damage, items, and, well, everything. Uh, levels as well, everything basically. And that might actually just come into fruition right now as Fear drops dead in the middle of his own base. What can you do as they just falter down like dominoes and the last man standing was insane is not going to be insane on that perspective as they give a quad kill to Kaz. And there you have it. Game number two goes into the hands of XD Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, this best of three is kaput. Like, done. Done deal. And that, that, that was a pretty quick game, actually. I mean, not as quick as the first few series that we saw. But even then, it was really convincing and dominating coming out from the side of XD Gaming. A quick look at the replay here. They are down to the last high ground tower. And Fia, first to go down. And here we see Kaz just putting in so much damage from the back line. Crash wasn't even relevant at all. And here we say, here we see Insane coming out to try to save, try to find something, but no use whatsoever. That was such a an amazing performance again from XD as usual. Um, they played to their strengths. They were the type that still. Despite having an 11k gold lead, they still tr uh, played it by the books, even though they had the opportunity to keep diving in and probably get a kill or two. They had room to be greedy, but there was only one instance, perhaps that was the the max takeoff, uh, but at the uh, high ground turret. But at, yeah. the, but at the same time, I felt like it was all according to plan because they just wanted to get that high ground turret um, destroyed already so that they could keep going and pushing on with their lead so it's still a very impressive performance from xd but at the same time for sptx they still held their ground for sure um it was just so difficult to get that mirad going um joker didn't have the space um to actually enable him to grow 
and get the kills in. A lot of the composition from the side, uh, a lot of the picks rather on the side of XD Gaming allowed such a squishy target to get dove upon, which is the Joker. And Tell Honest is a very, what he called his dominant laner with the ranged, if you will. So it's just good matchups all everywhere for XD Gaming. 